All right, all right, all right. I've got something super exciting to show you. We're going to be talking about media replacement and specifically media replacement on the canvas. So this is a brand new capability available on Mac today, coming soon on Windows, and I promise you soon. So here we are, and uh, what I've got is just a few different examples laid out on the timeline that we're going to replace. And I've got some placeholders on the canvas. This is a placeholder, just a plain Jane placeholder. You can see it right here. And we'll put that back in position. And right here, what we've got is a group that actually has a placeholder inside of it. So it's got kind of a nice little frame on it and inside of that is a group. And normally, if you wanted to replace anything inside of a group, you would have to actually drill into the group, find the piece of media that you wanted to replace and then replace it on the timeline with the replace operations. But we've made things much simpler here. So first we're gonna go with the plain Jane example. I've got a, actually a 4K, which is the same 16.9 aspect ratio video right here. And we'll just drag and drop over on the canvas. Now I pause and I hold and you can see that media resizes and has a little overlay. And then I choose the replace option that I want. So just like that down here on the timeline now, I no longer have that placeholder, but I do have the, the video in position right there, right? And I can adjust it accordingly. I'm gonna go ahead and undo that. Now, right here, here is that uh, group, and it's the same process. We'll just go ahead and drag that video over that group, and we're gonna pause and hold, and then choose group or replace. And now that group, the media is actually inside that group. If I drill into it, you can see there's that media that we replaced. So that's a cool example of how you can do placeholders by themselves on the canvas or inside of groups. And if you just hover and pause with your media, with your drag operation, and this can come from the media or the, the media bin or the library, but if you just hover and pause, you will get the uh, replacement option. All right, so let's move on to a couple of other examples. So you can see right here, I've got this, this asset from the Camtasia 2022 library, and this is uh, from the UI kit folder. And what it is, is it's, it's just a very simple sort of pseudo device frame. It's not, it's not a video. It's just a, a bunch of shapes, Camtasia shapes with a, an image inside of it that's serving as a placeholder. And so if I take a look at this, I can see over in the quick properties, there's that image over here. And I could replace uh, using the quick properties and, and drag and drop here. But what we've added is the ability to replace images that are in quick properties. So I'm going to go in here and this time we're going to go drag this uh, 1080p uh, penguins video over, drag and hold, get the replacement options and boom, just like that. Now I have this nice uh, piece of footage and you can see this asset, I've, I've actually got a couple of effects on it. There's a drop shadow effect that provides a little bit of depth and um, this reflection right here. So which just kind of makes it cool. So again, the, the drop shadow gives you some depth starts to pull it away from the screen. And if you wanted to, you could apply an effect like that reflection, which gives you a really nice uh, sort of cool look, right? And again, because this is just a, a Camtasia asset, which is a fancy sort of group, it's not tied to the, the background or embedded in a video like our, our classic device frames are. And uh, this is super versatile. I can animate this in, I can rotate it, I can scale it, I can do all of those things, right? So. It's a super, super cool option for people. All right, let's take a look at another example. Again, this is something from the Camtasia 2022 library. This is just a, a little uh, browser window. It's uh, kind of a cool quick property because it has a URL field that animates in. So if you're zooming a little bit right here, if we watch this, um, you'll notice that Hey, you get a little bit of an animation right there. You can replace that text with something else. Um, we'll just go ahead and put in Camtasia back on right there, like that. And that's a baked in animation for you. Nice thing about this device frame is, hey, it's I can control the colors of it. So you know, I'm going to go ahead and select a theme right here. Let's go ahead and do something like, oh, let's go with something like that. So just like that, I changed all the color options on this on the center out here on the canvas. So I have complete control. I could change the color of the buttons uh, if I wanted to 
just by coming in here and choosing a different color right here. And so if I zoom in here, see I just changed that color individually, or I could go back to the themes and could do something like that, right? So, or or maybe something like, um, there we go. You know, not exactly the greatest color scheme for this, but you get the point. So uh, super versatile, and again, it's that device frame option. We're gonna go ahead and drag and drop over the type of this. And here we go. Now we've got that video inside of this Camtasia asset, which I can animate and do anything I want with. So we'll go ahead and we'll move on. Uh, here's another example from the Camtasia library, the 2022 library. This is uh, your basic uh, visualization of an iPhone. We'll go ahead and change it to uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. So you can see I've got the, the theme customization, complete control over colors. And I happen to have a recording I've done on, uh, on an iPhone. I'm going to drag and hold, choose replace. And just like that, now I have my phone right here, which is completely controllable. So, you know, hey, what's the first thing you would you do with uh, something like this? You know, you might do something like, hey, I'm going to go ahead and drop an animation on this. Uh, zoom in on the timeline. Come back to the beginning of it. Maybe we'll scale that up. Turn on the media properties. Maybe we'll scale it up. And, you know, so you get a nice little entrance in. Uh, you can bring it from off the stage if you wanted to or something like that. But that's a real nice way to bring this content in and then apply some titling alongside it. Really simple to get a really cool, clean, beautiful layout. Okay, so. Here we are, and again, this is another example, and I'm gonna go over to the quick properties here, and I want you to pay special attention. So this looks a lot like all the other pieces of this, the groups or assets that we've been replacing the media in. And if I were to go ahead and drag and drop over here, nothing's happening. I don't get that resize, I don't get that drop zone that I can drop into, right? I just, you know, it's not available to me. Why is that? Well, it's in, in this case, uh, this is a group, and groups can have uh, quick properties. They can be turned into quick property assets. And you notice that that image is not in the quick properties right there, right? So the only way I can replace something like this is, uh, you know, I come in here, and I think um, that's the piece of media right there, the placeholder that we'd want to replace. And so you come down to the timeline, and, you know, duple replace. And, do that right but you can set these things up and do this for assets and, and groups that you're building right so here we are we've got the same setup and if i wanted to make this so that it had a drop target so that it used this media and replaced this this piece of media inside of this group i go into the quick properties editor and you can see down here there's these available properties they're not in the visible properties uh, section category so if I go ahead and hit the plus button on that piece of media, and I'm just gonna change this to uh, replace, you know, change the label of that field. And I'm gonna go ahead and say, save it. And you can see now this group, if I select it, has this replace label and this media right here. And now when I go ahead and drag and drop over the top of it, I get the option, I get the drop zone, the media is resized to fit into it. And, uh, and again, you know, this is that same sort of notion of a, this is really cool, just a simple frame with a drop shadow and reflection gives you a lot of versatility, a really cool look. There's tons of effects you can apply here. That's what kind of makes the UI kit in the Camtasia 2022 library so cool. So uh, replace media, canvas operations. It's not just the timeline anymore drag and drop simple hope you guys really like this lots of assets on the asset store oh I, there's one thing i should show you so i'm gonna bring up camtasia home here real quickly and i'm gonna go into the template section and let's go ahead and open up a project here's a good one so here's a project that has uh, again another one of these stylized device frames but this template this project template you know, it has this guy moving through it and doing all kinds of sort of interesting things. So, you know, the thing that we can do here is we'll back off a little bit here and we'll select that guy. And you notice 
it, it shows up over here in the quick properties. That means I can replace it. We're gonna go ahead and drag and drop, hold, and choose before replace. And just like that, we've replaced that piece of media. And we get all the slick animation that comes along with this template. So it's super cool. So this simplifies things and allows you to take advantage of the built-in assets inside of the Camtasia 2022 library, take advantage of the templates and assets that are on the TechSmith Asset Store, and build your own assets and add drag and drop uh, simplicity to them. So hope you enjoy.